And we are hearing from a lot of you talking about skyrocketing bills from JEA. That's right. This is what Evan told us. He said, quote, mine went up steadily from a normal $300 to 500. I can barely pay it. Monica says my bill more than doubled. I can't pay it this month. She asked pay for electric or buy groceries. What am I supposed to do? And Dulce says $561 electric bills too high. We are screaming stop the insanity here. We can't afford it. On your side, it's Rich Donnelly's live tonight to talk about businesses that are also feeling the impact of these higher bills. Rich? Yeah, that's right, Heather. Uh, Preston Waldrop has been in business for more than 30 years and says that he's never seen JEA bills quite like this, and he wants the city to do something about it. On a typical afternoon in San Marco, drinks are getting poured at locals. And at the same time, locals owner Preston Waldrop is pouring over his latest JEA bill. I have never seen these type of bills. The last time I had a $2,000 bill, I talked to all the employees and I said, keep the doors shut. We're not AC in all of Jacksonville. Waldrop even installed new air conditioning units that are supposed to be more energy efficient. And it's even reflected in his bill. I used less electricity in the month of September than I did September of last year because I got two brand new AC units. But the price of his bill doesn't match his reduced fuel use. Fuel charge, $985. Waldrop owns a bar. He needs to keep it cool and use multiple refrigerators and keep various lights on for ambiance. That's how he keeps his business attractive and profitable. And while he's furious about his own JEA bill, He's also worried about his clientele. How about these people living in the apartments that right now all their rent is going sky high, doubling, they're getting kicked out. How about their JEA bill? It's like everybody is against the working man. And he wants the city to step up and help when citizens need it the most. I ain't talking about the big corporate people, but the mom and pop people and the people in medium income that is doing all, all the working. Why can't the city of Jacksonville Help us. Preston Waldrop says that he's done his best not to raise his own prices when seemingly everything that he needs to run his bar has increased in expense. Expenses that include even keeping the lights on. Reporting live in San Marco, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.